All right, so now that we s took a look at some of the basic information that uh, our basic setup that Django did for us when we ran the start project command, um, we want to go ahead and cr create the initial database. And we're going to use the uh, SQLite uh, database, which is included with this project. We can use other databases if you like, but this one's the most simple. Um, and it's designed just for development purposes. So it's very lightweight and it's simple to use. So we're going to focus on this in our first project. Maybe in a couple projects down the road we'll you know, mess with some other ones. But for now, we're just going to use SQLite 3. Um, the way to change your databases if you wanted to is go into the settings.py file and change the engine and the name of the location. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and initiate our tables into our database. To do that, open your uh, terminal and we're going to have to change files here. So we'll do ls. No, we don't have to change files. We already changed it up here. I didn't know we did that. And we're going to go ahead and create a database. So what we do is simply do python3 manage.py. Dot, manage Here's that manage.py file. I told you it's pretty cool um, and the one we don't mess with. Um, but anyway, manage.py is going to run a command for us. So when we put a command after manage.py, it's going to go and find that command and run what we want to do. So we're going to say migrate. We want to migrate our database. So we hit return, and it's going to go ahead and migrate our database. And there we go. So what it did was it applied content types, uh, authenticated users, admin, some more stuff, all types of different stuff here. It's pretty cool, right? Um, if we go back into our folder, you'll notice that a couple new things were added. In our project, uh, we didn't talk about PyCache. That is a, f a directory that's added in when we run migrate and DP uh, SQLite 3. And this is our actual database. And humans can't read this, but that's our actual database, all right? So we created the database. Awesome. All right. So now let's, in the next tutorial, we're going to run our server and check out our project. So I'll see you there.